Hi, I'm Adrian from Micromegi Dynamics. In this short tutorial, I show you how to apply your custom signal processing to the channels of a recovery project. If you haven't watched the tutorial covering the basics of the viewer module yet, I encourage you to do it first. We'll first open the recovery viewer module and open a recovery project. Let's display the measure and observe the offset on the second channel, the green one. As a first example, we will apply a high-pass filter to this channel in order to kill the offset. Therefore, we open the settings window by clicking the settings wheel and we get to the signal processing tab. Let's click on the wheel next to channel 2. We check the high-pass filter checkbox and select a cutoff frequency of 0.5 Hz, for example. We can now reload the measure with the new signal processing applied on the second channel. As expected, the green curve is now centered around zero. I'm even able to modify the signal processing at runtime. For example, if I start the dynamic display, and disable the high pass filter, I can immediately see the results on the chart. As a second example, we will integrate the first channel, the blue one. The selected project being acceleration data, we will get velocity information after integration. Let's click on the wheel next to channel 1. We select the single integration radio button and if the different channels were stuck together in a single chart, you'll most likely have a warning message box. Indeed, having channels with different units in the same graph is not allowed in the viewer module. Click No. The integrated channel is now placed in a separate graph. We can now reload the measure and the integration is applied to channel 1.